Day number two of the 2023 NFL Draft is here, and on today's show, we're going to get you ready for day two with a little mock draft for the second and third round for the Chiefs. Plus, we'll take a look at some of the best players available uh, after round one concluded with the selection of Felix and Enrique Uzoma last night. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Before we get to the mock, let's kind of look at the Chiefs draft profile. They added edge, so they've kind of checked that box with Enrique Uzoma. Uh, Chiefs still have nine picks, a couple today. We'll see if they... Uh, uh, try to maybe add a third pick today. I could see them uh, trying to do that or just trading up from uh, second or third round. That certainly it would be in play as well. Of course, defending Super Bowl champs draft is in Kansas City. The city is on fire. All right, day two mock, just doing the two picks, not going to trade or anything like that. Keanu Benton, the defensive tackle out of Wisconsin, round two, pick number 63. I know you're probably saying another defensive lineman. Well, I think this is a player that would really fit in nicely. He's got versatility to play three-tech and the one-tech spot, uh, continue to improve uh, throughout his career. His hand placement needs to improve, but uh, I really liked how he played uh, his senior year. He had a really good senior bowl week as well, which you know the Chiefs were there to scout uh, him and several other players. Here's Dane Brugler on uh, Benton, uh, the player here. Uh, Benton needs to play with uh, consistent leverage and become a more consistent finisher for the NFL game, but his stout power uh, base and above average athleticism uh, at his size are outstanding foundation traits. He has the talent to play all over the defensive line as a pro. And we know the Chiefs like that versatility, right? Like they like moving Chris Jones around. Uh, they, uh, I think George Karloftis and Charles Aminihu are guys who can do that. Felix Andadike Uzoma, I think, is going to have some versatility uh, as well. Uh, and the reason I took Benton here also is there's a report out there that the Chiefs were interested in trading up to take Mozzie Smith, who ended up going to Dallas, I believe, at 27 uh, or at 26 whenever they selected. Uh, and uh, if that's true, then adding an interior defensive lineman is probably something that's on the Chiefs' radar because Felix Anadike Uzoma is not really an interior guy. He might be able to kick in there some, but he's like 255, 260, so he's going to be playing – uh, pretty much strictly edge uh, and maybe occasionally some off ball. But, uh, yeah, I think adding a guy like Benton here on day two uh, could make some sense because they tried to go get a guy like Mozzie Smith. What do you think? Should the Chiefs trade up today? Didn't do a trade here, but should, do you guys think they should trade up? Maybe we get a receiver, something like that. Type Y for yes, type N for no. I'm rocking the baby blue. Maybe they want to go get a guy like Josh Downs. All right, round three, pick number 95. Who needs Josh Downs when Marvin Mims is sitting there in the third round? Uh, he's a fun player. He could be an option at 63 as well. Uh, to be frank, we'll break down his game here in just a moment. But subscribe to the channel. We'll have a full breakdown of today's Chiefs draft pick. So hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. We'll have full analysis throughout day two of the NFL draft. It's YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV. Don't miss any of it. Marvin Mims, his last couple of seasons, big play weapon. Over 21 yards per catch in 21, almost 20 yards per catch this year, which is crazy considering he had 54 catches. To almost average 20 yards per catch on decent volume there uh, is pretty darn impressive. His main issue uh, at Oklahoma this past season was drops, but he's got big play potential, and we know Chiefs like receivers that can hit the home run. That's kind of the scouting report, right? He's a big play threat that can – track the ball very well downfield, and he's got punt return value. Did that uh, at Oklahoma. If they don't want to put Kadarius Toney back there or if they want to kind of mix and match there uh, to, to not overwork either of the guys, uh, you could do that. You could put him at kick return. Uh, the play strength, it lacks at times, uh, which is always uh, a question mark going up against really good press corners in the NFL, but uh, the speed is there. You can schematically work around that uh, as he builds up his NFL strength. Dane Brugler uh, had this breakdown of – Marvin Mims, he says, uh, Mims must prove himself for his press, kind of that point we were just talking about, and expand his route running inventory with improved stem balance and footwork. But his bread and butter will always be his field stretching speed and finishing skills. He will add an explosive element to an NFL offense as a rotational rookie receiver and punt returner. And I think that's probably what you're looking at, right? Like, this isn't a guy to come in and be a number one, but throw him into the mix with Sky Moore, Richie James, guys like that. Rotate him in and, uh, you know, take some deep shots with him a couple times a game and, you know, get him a 
couple short catches in space. He can make some guys miss and do some things. Uh, I do expect the Chiefs to get a receiver today. Uh, there's there's a lot of good ones out there. We'll take a look at some of the top players available uh, at different positions here in just a moment. But uh, Marvin Mims at 95 would be great value. I wouldn't mind it at 63, to be quite frank. Uh, but uh, there's other receivers uh, that are going to be options also for Brett Veach in Kansas City. So uh, I would be surprised if they didn't land one by the time today ended. What's the better pick here? Which one do you guys like better? Keanu Benton at 63? If so, type KB. Marvin Mims at 95, type MM. I think Mims at 95 is better value than Benton at 63, but I like both picks. I made both picks, so obviously I like them. Uh, let me know which one you guys like better. Okay, go check out our main Chat Sports YouTube coverage tonight. We'll be live for every single day two pick. Obviously, we're going to have you covered for the Chiefs picks here on the channel, but if you want live pick-by-pick -pick analysis in real time, uh, go check out our main coverage. Tom Downey leading the charge over there. He's doing a great job. Will Levis still out there. Michael Mayer, some big-name players that didn't get drafted last night, still on the board. So if you want real-time analysis, go check that out, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Let's start with wide receivers here if we look at some of the best available based on Tom Downey's big board. Uh, Josh Downs uh, still out there. He'd be a fun player in this offense. Jalen Hyatt, uh, he kind of just goes as well. He, I think he's just a better Marvin Mims, quite frankly. Tyler Scott out of Cincinnati. Cedric Tillman, if you want more of a pure X receiver, possession guy that can also get downfield. A.T. Perry can do some of that as well. We talked about Mims already. Tank Dell, undersized gadget guy, but a really good route runner. Uh, Jaden Reed uh, is another interesting player to monitor as well. And I'll also add in Jonathan Mingo, who was getting some round one buzz before the draft, but uh, we're not as high on him here uh, at Chat Sports, but I would still be happy with him in the second or third round. Top defensive lineman available. Uh, I mentioned Keanu Benton. He's there. Adetamo Adabare. He's a guy. Siaki Ika, if they want to add a pure one tech. Again, they're interested in Mozzie Smith, so I could see uh, Kansas City being interested in Ika or Jervon Dexter Sr. He can play some one tech as well. Edge rushers, if you just want to load up at that position, I wouldn't rule it out. Like if a guy like B.J. Ojolari slips, I could see that. Keon White, Isaiah Foskey. Foskey built like a Steve Spagnola 4-3 defensive end. So is Tuli Tui Pelotu. Can't ever have enough pass rushers, so I would not completely dismiss that. Offensive tackle, if you want to add some competition uh, on the right side with Lucas Niang, D Daywan Jones is a very intriguing player. He's six, eight, uh, what, 6'8", 370. I mean, he is a massive human being. If you want to get a guy on the right side to compete with Niang, Matthew Bergeron I think could be a plug-and-play right tackle. Tyler Steen I think is more of a swing tackle as a rookie with starting potential. You got Nick Sal uh, Saldaveri as well out of Old Dominion. Tight ends. Listen, I, I said it a lot in the pre-draft process. I'll say it here. I would take any of these guys today. If Michael Mayer, Darnell Washington, Sam Laporta, or Luke Musgrave are there at 63, I'd be shocked if Mayer and Washington were. But if Laporta or Musgrave fall there too, I would love that pick. I know it's not a top need, but Travis Kelsey's not going to play forever, and getting one of these guys could extend Kelsey's career. You could start to kind of stagger his snaps a little bit. The Chiefs did a little bit of that last year, but you could do it even more if you added a top-flight tight end like this. Cornerbacks, we know Brett Veach always likes adding at corner. The Chiefs are pretty deep there, but there's some good ones. Joey Porter Jr., what if he falls to the 40s? Maybe you move up for him. Clark Phillips the third, a fun nickel, could give you some insurance for uh, – Legereus Sneed, if he's not here long term, hopefully he is, but just in case he isn't. Cam Smith is a fun outside corner. DJ Turner, really good speed, ran a 4 2 6 in the 40. Nickel outside versatility there. Uh, running backs, if the Chiefs want to add uh, a player uh, with uh, Isaiah Pacheco, they have Clyde Edwards Alaire, but uh, he's not. I don't think here for the long haul. Uh, Devon A. Chain would be fun as hell. Zach Charbonnet is a good player. Tank Bigsby, Ty J. Spears, Israel Abanaconda, I think is uh, an intriguing talent. Roshan Johnson out of Texas. Kendra Miller is a guy who can just get downhill, one cut back. Zach Evans, underrated player as well. There's a lot of good running backs. There's going to be some guys on day three as well, so the Chiefs could certainly wait until then. Who is your top target for day two of the NFL draft. We just went through some of the top players. We just did a two round mock or a round two and round three mock draft. Who is your top player? If you could pick one guy that the Chiefs end up with by the end of today, go ahead and let me know who that is. All right, subscribe if you love the Chiefs. We're going to have you covered when the Chiefs pick at 63 and 95. If they trade around, we'll have that coverage as well. Don't miss any of it. Enjoy day two of the NFL draft. Mm -hmm.